or then, then you this FCA Game of the Week is sponsored by Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Paul Raps. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. The Geneseo Lady Leafs have cut a history-making path along the tournament trail, beating longtime postseason nemesis Peoria Notre Dame and winning its first ever sectional. And now as they take on Sycamore in the super sectional, they know there's no room for history here. Early on, Geneseo on the move, Shelby Clary fires away, but the uh, Sycamore keepers there to clean up. Then good help on defense again by the Lady Leafs, it's Mackenzie Davison helping clean up there and then Taylor Majorkurt, the fine fine keeper for the Lady Leafs she's under pressure but makes the stop but at the 31st minute Sycamore goes to the sister act as Ella Holland sets up Sadie Holland who punches it in and it's the Spartans on top one nothing at the half early in the second half though Geneseo gets it back as Lauren Coulter turns and fires gets it to go and suddenly the game is tied at one and one Lady Leafs wanting more. That is Clary dropping it back to Heather Dietrich. She crosses nicely, just a split second too late to getting it to Lauren Murray. Later on, Geneseo trying to punch one in, but it's all hands on deck. No call there, so it is still one to one. Then at the other end, a wild flurry in front of the Geneseo cage, and it's Sycamore's Ella Holland staying aggressive. She punches it in. And it's two to one Sycamore. And just 19 seconds later, they get more on the rebound as Emma Stice extends the lead to three to one. And that is the final score as Geneseo's fine, fine season ends in the Elite Eight. They fall three to one, completing a special season at 20. Three and two. And I think the girls really adjusted well in the first half. Took a half to kind of adjust. Second half, we came out. Majority of possession was in our end, obviously um, attacking. And so, really, I was happy with the way we played. Yeah, a minute there wasn't the best minute of our uh, of our year, but I mean that's just part of the game. When you tied it, what were you thinking? Uh, the potential was out there for you. Oh yeah, I knew that that's the the momentum had swung a little bit, and we had the like I said, they had possession. We had the the majority of the chances, um, and we're playing a little bit of a counterattack game. Well, um, sometimes a counterattack game can, game can get you, and that was kind of what happened tonight. Mm -hmm. What's been the charm of this team for you, the things that are just uh, enduring memories? I guess. Oh, I mean, just the whole group uh, in general, their hard work and dedication to the team and the game. Um, the knowledge and the ability to play strong, hard-nosed soccer without complaining. You know, and it's nice to know that uh, we don't have a lot of complainers on our team, <laughs> you know, sitting on this side hearing the parents behind us. It, it brings a nice refresher to my, uh, to my mind knowing that we don't have that kind of uh, um, soft spot. We're a pretty hard-nosed team. We'll play all the way to the end. And you did it tonight. I mean, you got down two goals and they were scrapping. They were grinding out there. Yeah, they would never quit and I wouldn't expect anything less. I think that it's been a great season and that we've made it further than we all of us ever thought that we would and I think even though we didn't go to state that's a real big achievement for us. How meaningful have the friendships been and just uh, the things that are, that are gonna last a lifetime for you too? Definitely with this team I think I've made a lot more friends than I have in the past and I think that that's really been the key to our success this year. Mm -hmm. What do you tell the girls that are gonna be coming back to I mean uh, how to play you know what's what's kind of the, the lady leap way to play soccer? Now? Just play like it's your last game never give up just play your hardest all the time. Mm -hmm. We knew we could, we had it in us and we just had to do it, but it was just a tough game. They're a good team, but honestly, we knew that it was a possibility and we were pushing. We played as hard as we could the entire game. Well, history making year, I mean, uh, doesn't, doesn't mean much right now to you. I know as it's so fresh in your mind, but man, you guys set a new standard. Yeah, it's definitely something for the younger players to like, live up to and know that they can do it too. And all the past players know that even though they didn't make it, they helped us get to where we are, we are right now. At a moment like this, I mean, how, how much does it speak to you what a big part of um, soccer is of your young life? Yeah. Um, it's been crazy. I've been playing soccer for 13 years, and it's hard to know it's done, but there's better things to come. Mm -hmm. And you guys take friendships with you, too. I mean, what are mm -hmm. some of the lessons and, uh, and those bonds that, uh, that are going to endure for you for the rest of your life? Um, you know, your friends always got your back. Like, Becca and I both play defense, and when one of us isn't there, the other one is. So. You can take that lesson from the soccer field that even though 
you might be you might be the one to let it get by you. There's someone else there to pick you up and help you. Um, it's hard, and I know that all of these girls, it's hard on them right now, but um, nothing to hang our head on. We've done amazing things for Geneseo soccer, making history, and we weren't giving up until that final whistle blew. So kudos to all these girls out there who are putting in their all from the beginning of the season to now. So When you tied it. I mean, you guys had to think, man, here we go. Yeah, that was an amazing feel feeling. I mean, it just shows that um, we're not going to give up just because of one goal. I mean, you saw it in the PND game. We were down one at half and came back and put two in to win it. So these girls will give it their all no matter what is the situation on this field. Mm -hmm. What made this team click and uh, just tick so effectively all season while the consistent part of your games? Um, I think it's just friendship and teamwork. I mean, we're a close-knit group of seniors. We're a close-knit group that's been playing with each other for a long time, and we know where we are on the field, and we know where to pass it, when to pass it. So I think it's just that, like, we're connected and we know what's going on, so that really helped us click in the um, middle of the season on into the postseason. Well, soccer's been obviously a huge part of your life. You spent a lot of time uh, as a little girl and as a big girl, too. I mean, uh, just reflect on that part that... Uh, what you celebrate and what you're obviously going to miss too. Um, I mean, celebrate this um, amazing postseason, making history for Geneseo soccer. That's amazing and that's great to go out on as a senior. And um, I'm just really happy for all of us and working that hard. And I mean, it's going to be tough not going to come back here on this field next year, but I'll definitely come back to watch Geneseo girls soccer do great things next year too. How about you? Are you ready to go to Fellowship of Christian Athletes Camp this summer? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at IllawaFCA.org. And we've got scholarship money available. With this FCA Game of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson. At this time, with you great intentions to this field.